Who's the world's largest 14 year old football player? There's a reason that Notre Dame and other big time schools have offered him and want him to be on their program. 290 pounds being able to move like that, it's something you don't really see very often. Tyler has a big heart. He is like a big family guy. He's a big bear. He has his own fire. He will shake your hand, but he will knock you down at the same time. Hey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. My name is Tyler Parker. I'm 14 years old. People call me Teen Hope because I'm the biggest 14 year old in the world and I play football. We're gonna get to work. I'm gonna show y'all a little what I can do. I can move a little bit. Show y'all the hips, everything, my legs, my arms. Let's get it. I'm excited. Tyler came to us and visited last year during camp. He gave me like the confident handshake and I was like, damn, this kid's strong. I just immediately was like, how much do you weigh? He goes, 290. No, you don't, you don't weigh 290. So how old are you? He said, 13. He said, you were 290, 13, let's go. I put him on the scale and he was 286.2. I was like, all right, man, let's go upstairs and let's have a conversation. Yeah, I came on a visit to Santa Margarita and it felt like home right away, but we didn't know how we were gonna do it since I lived in Watts, California and LA at the time. It was an hour and a half drive every day. Luckily, there was a coach that lived over that way that was able to drive me. We have to wake up at five o'clock in order to get to his uh, meet spot for 6.30 and his day went in until 6.45, seven o'clock at night from school and then have to go home. Football teaches you a lot of life lessons. But football has made me realize great things about myself. Where I came from about a year ago, a lot of people had told me the position that I'm in right now, I would never be close to. Doubted me on a lot of things that I told myself that I was going to do. It pushed me to just go hard every day and just to try to be the best version of myself in every aspect. <coughs> my number 99, it means a lot to me. When I was going through a hard time, my coach showed me, hey, drop down, give me 99 push-ups. I was a big guy, I wasn't as strong, so it was hard for me to even do 20 push-ups. There was people telling me, oh, you can't do it, he's not gonna be able to do it. I was sitting there crying, tears, doing push-ups, didn't wanna do it. After I got through it, I, I came to the point where it was like, 99 can be my jersey number. It always reassures me whenever I'm going through a tough time, I can get over that. The last year I have definitely noticed he's gotten a lot better on football and he's definitely been working hard. So it's been exciting to just get ready to see his coming out. And he's worked out in the summer. He took a picture, posted on Twitter, nothing unusual for Tyler. But this time it was just the fact that he was like, had been working out so hard. He had been sweaty. A photo went viral on social media of me flexing my muscles. It, it changed my life. By the end of the week, there had been a number of articles. And people say I'm a celebrity. This I try not to get caught in, into that. Just going to the store, somebody would go, oh my God, it's Tyler Parker, and I'm going, this is my child. He is definitely someone very special, and I'm just happy to share him. He still goes to work, he's still coachable. He still will listen to what you need to do. You know, he was a guy that just struck you with his presence. We talked for an hour and didn't even talk about football. It had everything to do with other things like what's your why, what's your purpose, what are the things that you value, what, how would your teammates describe you as a person. And it was just, it just moved me. I enjoy a lot about football and I think I enjoy the most to be able to look at things more bigger than football, to be out there with some of my friends knowing that if anything happens to me, they have my back and I have their back as well. I could say I do have a lot of pressure on me, especially there is a lot of hype around me, but I really just try not to get caught in any of that. I just try to stay me, be myself. Me going viral and hype and all that stuff isn't my goal. My goal is to try to be the best defense alignment in the country and make it to the NFL. I talk to our kids a lot about just where it all starts in the mind, right? There's that, you know, that saying, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, it becomes your character. Watch your character, becomes your destiny. And to me, that's no days off, right? It's that continuum, that flow of like, I gotta really want this that bad, and I'm willing to do the work that it takes to get where I wanna go. And TP is the epitome of that. So no days off means getting better every day and trying to be the best version of myself every day on and off the field. I wanna be most known as just being a respectful person and just like, I go by the term that it's bigger than football, 
we're more that just treating people in a respectful way, treating people in a nice way, no matter how good I am as a sport. I just want to be remembered as a great person all around and just a person that where I ask people, hey, how you doing? You know, that goes a long way. Just asking a person how they're doing, how their life is, just means a lot to me.